All right, there. So you don't make Yorkie here. Once again, take me back for more. I'll find her after the righteous here in Galarian. With a little band of five at the moment. Six if you count a wolf. With Tisiphone. Ah, uh, Agriban Barbarian. Who? Let us be off. I kind of made a slip up choosing the Agriban Barbarian. Because, uh, oh, I'll show you, I've mentioned it before. I looked at the claws, and I saw weakness. Whenever the Hagriman hits a foe with her claw, the victim takes 1d4 points of strength damage. Unless it's a season 42 would save. And I thought, oh cool, that's useful. That doesn't kick into level 17. I missed a bit above it that says that. Still, she has claws. Let's move. Now, where are we going to go? Well, first of all, there's uh, up in this camp here. Should be something. There it is. Nope. There it is. I'll take that. You folks aren't even fighting, you don't need it. Ah yes, this is a spider, isn't it? I've survived worse. My mission has ended in failure. Learn. Sword in hell! They are annihilating us! Alright, let's load that again. Right. Now, we set up here, didn't we? Aspect. You've already granted that, haven't you? You got uh, the wall of oh, the ball. Enemy approaching. Attack. Nine versus ten. That's an auto hit. You're not a threat. Why are you going? Obstacle. Root needs to chase in there. Missed. Critical miss, in fact. I studied you, but I guess not. No, I did. Aim carefully. 13 versus 18. He's not very good, is he? Uh, we won't fault up. Yeah. 
Hit me. Eight. We got some giants. The other giant spiders coming in. A lot of other giant spiders coming in. Okay, that's eleven. Good, it missed. Taking a few hits here. Ow. That didn't work out. Strike with all your might. Hey, me. Oh, got you. Nice. <laughs> Wasn't good. Strike with all your might. That was a miss. Days <laughs> down. Ow. Ow. Hey, then. A solid plan. We can do it. Well, we hit it for three. That was 13 at least. Now down to eight. You're not a threat, you're an obstacle. We can do it. Come on, you need to do better than that. I'm wounded. Yeah, you are. Deal with Attack. it. Another down. Come on. Can I try this That's way? nonsense. This will hurt. It's you or me. Okay, got that one. I suppose it could be, but hopefully it isn't. We got three in a lot of trouble, though. What is that? Spicy pastry. Copy recipe. Bill check 21. Oh, shit, I didn't want to throw it on there. Oh well. That was done on the wrong person. Forwards, we will be victorious. Oh, got you! A calculated risk. Forwards! We won't falter! You 
We won't falter. Strike with all your might. It's you or me. Let's try this way. That should be enough. We'll be taking one hit from the acid, and maybe not. There we are. Law nature. I can't do it. Dry bones are all the remains piece of some unfamiliar monster. We cannot be defeated. Uh what's attacking us? Oh, a spider some ah. I'll got you. Aim carefully. This will hurt. Another five. We can do it. Strike with all your might. You're going down. Got him. Now. Alright. I don't think we've got anyone on Law Nature, to be honest. Let us be off. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, there's stuff up here. I hadn't seen. Loot from the mushrooms. And a ring of protection. Which, since I'm riding up front, I will take that. I'll also use that. Strength is reduced. What is my strength like? Minus two. Damage is only one to two. I might want to rest before I carry on. I don't have any restoration, do I? No, I don't. Wouldn't hurt to rest anyway and get some spells back. So we can roll at least a nine. The twelve in twenty chance. Wow, who would have thought the city is almost as big underground as it is above ground? Yes, these catacombs have always been the headache for the city authorities. That's majority, I'm not even documented. Ooh, that's not good. Right. Now, we are all healed. I didn't need to use that healing, did I? Because I decided to heal. I manage it sometimes. Not to worry. Hopefully we'll survive having you wasted that. Hundred and eighty five to get to level two. We will 
be victorious. Forwards! It's you or me. Forwards! We can do it! Forwards! Another giant one there. A calculated risk. You then. A solid plan. That's fine. Red calf. Got you. Failed. Deep wood. We won't falter. Some damage. I missed. I mean, more damage. Another miss. Attack. Six damage. You're going down. Not if you miss, we're not Rekka. Strike with all your might. Strike with all your might. Three. Let's try this way. Missed. Aim carefully. One's down. It's you or me. We can do it. Yeah, Deep Wood's kind of garbage because uh, what he doesn't have. We can do it. Is the uh, fire into combat thing? They're taking a four-point penalty every time. Wipe that lot. Oh crap! You're not a threat. You're an obstacle. We don't have any portion of poison type stuff, do we? No. Get you away. Okay. When you miss, Forwards. how many three hit half oh, points? Forwards. Moving on. Another giant spider. Couldn't be too bad. Attack. There we are, Ethan took it down. Nice work from our kineticist there. Healing potion, one. We cannot be defeated. Knowledge world. The old masonry is holding well. A uh, brilliant uh, example of Mendevian uh, architecture. Might not be pretty, but it's got to last. 
can't get out that way. Onwards. Oh God! Get out of that! That was bloody acid. Need tools. Screw that then. I've survived worse. I think we're okay here. Almost down, there we are. And we got another potion. I've been wandered through the bloody acid for no good reason at all. We can open the door. We don't need to, I don't think. Got a short sword. Given the Hagrid and Claws are not doing what I thought they would, right now we'll use the short sword. One to five. We've got a secondary attack as well, do we? Yeah. Tink. One to three. And right, that's blocked. Got a door there. Door here. Let us be off. No way to get to that, is there? There's gotta be. What was that? Yes, there is. Thank you. Light crossbow got an actual equipable item. An actual. Uh... No, he's not the one. You should. You're not using that minus two, that's for sure. A light crossbow. One to eight. And then we'll see what's going on here. Having left the rage uh, the enraged cultists behind a dead and group of escapees, plunged deeper and deeper into the switch canals under the canabres pastures. As vile and twisted as plans of any demon, the cultist's yelling faded away to a deep growling coming from somewhere in the fetid darkness. Some unknown predator was prowling around, never approaching but always ever constantly dogging the group's steps. The wind, a winding tunnel, came to a fork. The main road was blocked by a vast cesspool, a whole underground lake of filth. Untold dangers could be lurking in the darkness, of the older and narrower pastures that led off in directions from the lake, the path onwards was unclear. What was the greater danger? Haste or delay? Which way should they go and what should they do? A brief discussion. The, uh, the escapees decide. Send someone to scout. Try to get across as successful. Take a breather and pause which didn't look out. Who would alert the group in the darkness? Let's scout. Uh, let's scrap that for now. Oh! Let's do Freyder. Freyder took this turn of events in stride. Unfortunately, her blind. Oh, stupid! I was thinking she's, uh, you know, she's looking at details all the time. I meant there was little she could do to prevent the monster's attack. Bounced on love from the darkness. A nightmare jumble of blackness and slimy tentacles. It only takes a ten since of her companions when she's saved. Feeling the terrible burns left on her body by the dark entity of Freyder. 
Um, <laughs> muttered grimly. You used me as bait, didn't you? Disgraceful. Oops. These discussions, they try to get across the cesspool. The Vermeer succeeded. With a shrug, Vermeer entered the foul waters and spent a long time looking for a town law gap that the escapees could slip through. At last, his efforts were futile. Poor Vermeer ended up with his skin covered in blisters and thick crust that he endured the pain, uh, the pain stoically. Already on his way out of the cesspool, Vermeer tripped over something solid. It almost rounded the murky water and dragged out the mysterious uh, object. It was a waterproof tube, the kind used by majors. Who knew where it had been lost, or from where the sewers, the sewer waters, had carried it? The role of summon nature's ally, Leopard. Alright, that's useful. Brief discussion, the escapees decided to play into the old tunnels. With no precise route, the escapees spent many hours wandering into the darkness, their strength waning before they felt dry land under their feet. The damp sewers gave way to dry and narrow caves. The escapees had no idea the maze under Canabris was so vast, deep and horrible. Exhausted, they sat down on the rocks, fighting off hunger and fear. The escapees disputed, uh, discussed their disputed situation and decided to explore further from Langrat. We've got rope, diamond dust, exquisite pearl. Though he was clearly afraid of getting stuck, Langrat still went deep into the narrow cave, uh, crevices. His search had been fruitless until he spotted strange creatures on the rocks. After getting a better look at them, he was able to make out primitive but tasteful drawings. He followed their trail until he found a hidden bundle wrapped in scaled leather, which he immediately presented to the group. Inside the bundle, the escapees found a narrow sinew of rope. Okay. All good. Found all that loot. Discuss their situations. Search for food. Use the rope. The last thing they made. Alright. It could withstand a tug, even from large prey. So far from throwing the prospect, back, the fairy uh, nevertheless set out. She returned shortly afterwards, her face covered in swollen bite mag. They don't know, they climbed into a hole where a swarm of venomous insects lit. Why do I keep sending her on sight of things? Let's please discuss their situation, continue their journey. Tisiphony and Rekas wasted no time and, and scouted out a safe tunnel led to the surface. The escapees continued on their way. Rekas led the group to a narrow crawlway that looked like it must have appeared quite recently. It may have caused the earthquake unleashed by the... It may have been caused by the earthquake unleashed by the wicked side of the Locus Lord Discari. Having crawled out of the caves, the escapees found themselves in a narrow tunnel paved with stone slabs. There were alcoves all over the walls, with names etched above them. The catacombs were part of one of the burial sites where crusaders had been interred for many years. Deathly cold pierced the escapee's skin, as a rippling ghostly figure emerged from around the corner, and wailing immediately went out of sight again. Each member of the group could sense a danger hanging in the air. The escapees drew their weapons, ready to defend themselves. Then the ghostly figure... In one of the corridors of the burial site, a group came across a corpse, a fresh body half burned by demon fire. Some poor soul must have uh, tried to escape the slaughter and ended up in the catacombs. This was where death had caught up to him, and now his angry spirit was agitated, laying the ghost to rest, job for Langrat. After finding an unoccupied tomb, Langrat placed the poor fellow's remains inside, then brought out his violin and began to play. The piercing, heart-wrenching requiem that drifted through the oppressive catacombs moved all who heard it to tears. On returning to his awestruck comrades, Langrat said quietly, I'll have to remember that tune, It'll be as if my hands played on their own. Uh, I think we'd go grave robbing. No. Was a mission was a mission for the whole group. And um, press on bravely. The escapees continued onward and were excited to see the gloomy corridors were slowly getting brighter. The surface was near. 
Something cracked under one of the SKP's foot. One of the slabs sank, triggering a trap designed to repel grave robbers. Dozens of sharp darts flew from an inconspicuous hole without the walls, and the burial site was pla uh, plastered with blood. But nothing could stop the escapees at this point. They could already see a spot of light beyond the metal bars of the door at the end of the tunnel. They rushed forward without a second thought. Don't give up, let's go on, wonderful even more survivors. Oh great, we've come up to a fight, have we? And we're all tired. We won't falter. One down. Away, you brigand. Zombie. Even step back. Aim careful. A calculated risk. We won't hold up. Going down. Strike with all your might. There we are. What a to do. We were scrambling this way with undead herring after us going and and snap, snap, snap with their teeth. And then you all appear out of nowhere going, oh no, monsters, eek! But me, I never abandon a person in need. No way, no how. Saving people in need is what I'm good at. Stick with me, and we'll all make it out of this alive. A young gnome sorcerer with a bandage over one eye jauntily brushes the hem of his cloak. We're the ones who saved you, Dolt. Take care with this one. A friendly idiot can be more dangerous than an enemy. Break our eyebrow creeps upward. He's like flattening into a thin line before the tiefling turns his eyes on you. Hold on, I'm not... Yes. Everything's in such turmoil right now, you can't even trust me. I get it. I get it. In that case... I swear on my life, on the sublime Desna who bears the name of the Song of the Spheres, and on my magnificent boots, that I will protect you from the monsters and lead you to... a safe place, wherever that may be. The gnome falls thinking for a moment, then enthusiastically declares that he sucks in and breasts as he continues. Quit your blabbing now, who are Indeed, how silly of me. My manners are all over the place after fleeing from those things. Allow me to introduce myself. Sendramel Knuckles Kimberton Tourmaline. <laughs> Just Sendry to my friends. And this is my pal Brody. Yep, he is a gravedigger here. Or something like that. Pale, sweating, emaciated, wandering gaze. And what's that? A bite mark on his neck? There's no doubt about it. This man's got ghoul fever. He's either an idiot who didn't realize he was sick, or he's a liar and he deliberately kept quiet about it. Either way, he needs to die. Now. Have mercy, I beg you. I have a family, children. What fever? I don't feel sick at all, I swear. One more word, and I'll slit your throat. Rick, I'll knock it off. If he's sick, then we need to help him not stick a dagger in the paw. And besides, we do, he might help us. I'll stop when the dead rest, when the cultists are wiped out, and when the demons go back to the abyss. Until then, our survival is my top priority. Grave Digger grills even paler and backs away, clearly not wanting to tempt fate. Whoa! There's no need for weapons and threats. Taking somebody's life like it's worth nothing, it's not right. 
I swear I didn't know that Brody was sick. I, I was kind of distracted by other things, you know. First we were chasing the snappers around the cemetery, and then they were chasing us. But on the bright side, I know how to help him. There's a crypt in the cemetery full of interesting knickknacks, including a scroll that's sure to cure Brody's fever. That's right. If we go and get it, we'll be saving an innocent man's life. What crypt are you talking about? How should I describe it? It's all stony and fancy. It's on the far side of the cemetery. There's a wizard interred in it, a scholar I greatly admire. He was a master of many things, and he was a collector of magical objects, too. And the library he had, ooh, it was an ogre, miss. <laughs> Get it? As big as an ogre? Ooh, except ogres are stupid and libraries are smart. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Our heroic sorcerer is nothing but a common thief. And one with a lousy sense of humor to boot. Hmm. Hold your horns there, my morose young man. You're looking at everything in the worst possible light. If you like, I can give you a pink crystal to look at the world through. That'll put a smile on your face. I was only looking for one book. The esteemed wizard took it to his grave. Literally. The thought of stealing never even crossed my mind. I left everything exactly where it was. The potions, the scrolls, the jewels, everything. I read, I learned some useful information, and I left. That's it. You were in a tomb full of magical objects and scrolls, and you didn't take a thing? How have you survived this long? You crept into a graveyard full of undead. For the sake of a book. When I went down into the crypt, there was no sign of any snappers. I found the book I was after, I read it, and it was so fascinating that I picked up another to read. And another. And then something made an almighty bang. The wizard himself had risen from his tomb. Well, wasn't I just shaking in my boots with my heart in my throat? <laughs> but I very politely cast a spell on him, and he went down like a lamb. That's when I realized there was something weird going on outside. I decided to sit tight. There were plenty of books, so I wouldn't lack for something to do. Then later on, I heard shouting and I ran to the rescue. There you have it. Canabras is under attack. Demons, dark creatures, cultists, marauders. The city is overrun. You're lucky you were away from the thick of things. An annoying little twerp like you would have been snuffed out in no time. Oh, that... that does explain a lot. Well, all the more reason to save as many people as we can. What scroll are you talking about, Shrimp? A scroll that can cure almost any affliction. They're very rare, and therefore extremely valuable. I'm no thief, but since it's for a good cause, I think we can borrow it from our dear departed wizard. Can you tell me how your friend got sick? Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. We only became friends after I saved him from the snappers not long ago. You're better off asking him. Ma'am, I'll tell you everything, but please have mercy. I was just an ordinary gravedigger doing my job when suddenly somebody attacked me from behind and bit me right here. I thought I was as good as dead. I panicked and spun around and whacked the thing with my shovel. And I saw it was a ghoul. It was laid out on the ground twitching. And I gave it another couple of wallops for good measure. If that's true, this guy could be useful. And I felt fine, that's the honest truth. Except I haven't been able to eat a crumb of food since. I thought it was all those corpses of the damned rising from their graves. They stink to high heaven, I'm sure you've noticed it yourself. So I didn't know I was sick until your friend said it. I, I swear I didn't know. The grave digger finishes account bows and retreats to a safe distance. Are you wounded? What happened to your eye? My eye? What eye? Oh, this eye. Oh, my friend, that is a long story. The telling really demands a whole barrel of ale, but fair enough, I'll tell you anyway. My adventuring once led me to the frozen lands of Irisen. Back then, I was on a quest for the ice flower, a rare crystal that I hoped... I was to looking for something easy, but okay. And out of the blue, I was set upon by three frost worms, if you'll believe it. I dispatched two of them, but the third knocked me over a cliff edge. Down and down I went, and then a branch on the cliff face pierced my eye, and that's how I survived. 
A small price to pay, eh? <laughs> so don't worry about me, as they say, what the eye cannot see, the heart cannot miss. <laughs> Norms are famous for their wild imagination, but it doesn't seem like Sendry is lying to you. <laughs> he says, noticing a failed perception check. <sighs> Irisen, frostworms, a conveniently placed branch. Listening to his jabbering is hurting my ears. Make him stop, will you? A good kick should do it. Alright, I'll get the scroll and help the grave digger. Really? You'll do it? Oh, praise the gods! Believe me, ma'am, I'll find a way to repay you, and I'll help however I can. I knew you'd come to the right decision. Let's go. Time to get out of this graveyard. And remember, the crypt containing the scroll is all the way over yonder by the gate. Pardon me for butting in, but you may recall that I also need to get into a crypt here. I do. The one with a rose on it? You know what? Forget it. I'm not setting a foot in there. I'm not ending up in the belly of an undead. Vow or no, I should just stay here where it's safe. Alive and... Enough chatting. Let's go already. And we have a level gain. Blood Rage uh, Hagriven 2. Uh... Uh, second level, I considered magic weapons for the purpose of overcoming damage reduction. Rogue 2. And you have dodge. And evasion. No, I'm already on world. We'll start giving you uh, law nature. So I need someone on that. Oh, okay. Neddy says two gets a talent. Ability, you got law religion. Uh not wanting you to be in combat, so that's not relevant. Oh, these are too high, too high anyway. Give you a hair. The Amansa Sorcerer. Arcana World. Persuasion magic. I'm doing well, so we'll let you have Arcana. Hunter! Second level of the Hunter uh, choose either precise shot or outflank. Athletics, mobility, stealth. Oh, you've got law nature! That's the one you want. And you, I'm assuming, already have. Level 2. You're a seeker. God has gained them. Uh, well, most might be content with their strange powers. Some adventure far and wide in search of greater understanding of generals and the genesis and history of their eldritch talents. Only seekers after that. Okay, what do you actually get for that, though? And what, oh, you've got arcane bloodline, so you're getting stuff at different levels here. Magic missile, you've already got magic missiles, so that's irrelevant. Superior summoning. 
It's not bad. All right. That seems to be about it. At level two, hang on, is there anything here? We could make camp, but I sure don't thing. think that's a good move right now. So, for now, we'll end. Join us next time when we'll continue through the graveyard. In the meantime, hit the like, comment, subscribe if you haven't channel to grow. Uh, I'm going to bump the level of difficulty up one. Daring. And uh, I'll see you next time.